Today we're talking about the best OBS recording settings for low-end PCs. You guys have been requesting this video for so long. We've been literally leaving like tons of comments, DMing me and even on Discord. And I finally came around to recording it. So today we're going to be talking about the best OBS settings for recording with a low-end PC. And before we start, please consider leaving a like to help out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first of all, no matter how bad a PC you have, I think you should be able to record 720p. Follow my lead and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Alright, open up OBS Studio and set up your scenes and your sources. You should, you should be able to do this if you watch some of my videos. Then go to the settings by pressing this big button that says settings. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, there should be a gear shape button on the top right corner of the screen, but for the OBS Studio users, just use this button right here. There is nothing to do in the general tab, so go ahead and move straight to the video tab. This is where you're going to be setting your resolutions and your frame rate. Assuming that you're going to be gaming at 720p, set your base canvas resolution to 1280 by 720. Basically set your base resolution to whatever resolution you're going to be gaming at. As for the output resolution, I would suggest setting this one to 1280 times 720. This will mean you're going to be basically recording at this resolution right here, which is 720p. Downscale filter, keep that one at Langzos. This drop down menu right here, select common FPS values and come over here and select 30 FPS. Press apply and now let's move on to the output tab. This is where you're going to be basically choosing your bitrate, which if you basically choose it correctly, this will eliminate any stutter or lag. Come to this drop down menu in this output mode menu and make sure it says advanced. After that, make sure you are in the recording tab by pressing this recording button. Okay, the recording path is basically where you're going to be storing your recorded videos. The recording format I would suggest sticking with MP4 because it is supported with most video editing softwares, even the ones that I mentioned in my top 3 best free video editing softwares video. If you want to check that video, click on the card in the top right corner. Right, for the encode, I'm going to assume that you guys have a bad graphics cards. So yeah, go ahead and select this option right here, which says X264, which will basically use your CPU to encode the video. Do not check the rescale output. And now let's move on to the rate control. Open this drop down menu and make sure to select average bitrate. And what it does is instructs OBS to, to try to keep an average around the number that you put in the bitrate field. On the contrary to CBR, which basically forces OBS to keep a constant bitrate, ABR gives OBS a little more breathing room, which could eliminate any lag or stutter. In this bitrate field over here, Put it at 5000 kilobits per second. Usually this is fine, but if your PC starts stuttering, you can go all the way down to 3500 in this field. And I actually wouldn't suggest going any lower than 3500 kilobits per second because then the resolution and the bitrate would not match and then the quality would be very, very horrible. Do not use custom buffer size and for the keyframe interval, keep that bad boy at two. All right, the CPU usage, keep it at very fast. In this option, the faster you go, the less CPU usage OBS will have access to. For the profile, keep it at high. And for the tone, do not change anything over here. Okay, now press apply and then okay. Now, if your screen size does not match the canvas, just like this, one thing you could do is basically right click your canvas and then go to transform. After that, go ahead and make sure it says stretch the screen. I like that your screen will match your canvas. Anyways, those are the best recording settings for low-end PCs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like and subscribe. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. And if you guys could help me reach 3,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely amazing. Leave a like so we can help this video reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.